That's why I hate staying at your parents' place. They want to have grandchildren. This is no way to go about it. Why do I always have to have single beds? Ian, it's just for one night, and they don't have another double bed. They don't have any double bed at all. That's the problem. Well, they like it that way. Oh, it's weird. It's weird married couples sleeping in separate beds. They have single beds for a reason, Ian, because Mum likes a soft bed and Dad likes it hard, right? Mm. Mum likes to sleep under a window, Dad can't stand fresh air. Mum likes eating in bed, Dad st can't stand crumbs. You mean it's genetic crumbs in bed? Ian, I don't drop crumbs in bed. Well, somebody does, mary -Ann. Well, it's not me. Oh, I see. There's some secret visitor who breaks into our house every day and puts crumbs in the bed, blunts my razor, squeezes the toothpaste in the middle, takes all the toilet paper and then shoots through. Is that right? <laughs> Maybe. Oh. I'm going to sleep. Good oh. night. Good luck to you if you can go to sleep. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this bed. Hey, shh. Don't move around so much. What's Ma wrong? It makes a bed squeak. What's wrong with a squeaky bed? Oh, I just don't like her. I just don't move. What are you talking about, Mary Ann? Why can't I move in the bed? It's a squeaky it's bed. Don't make so much noise. It'll make my parents think things. <laughs> what things? You know. Mary Ann, we're married. I know. But I don't want them thinking we're doing stuff, all right? <laughs> Maria, we're married. We're supposed to do stuff, in case your parents haven't imagined that yet. Oh. Not here, Ian. Not at my parents' house. Why? Not with them in the next room. Why? What, are you afraid they might get some ideas? About time they got a few ideas. It might be a good thing. <laughs> it might remind them what marriage is all about. Ian, shh. They're my parents, and I don't want them thinking stuff, OK? Well, I, it's, I think it's time they did think some stuff. I think it's time they did think some Stop stuff. Stop it, Ian! What? Stop it! All right. Admit that you put crumbs in the bed. No! <laughs> Ian, shush! Stop it! Ah, 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 ah. Ian, stop it! Oh, Mary, that's incredible. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right, I put crumbs in the bed. I put crumbs in the bed, all right? And you steal my razor blade. You are a pig. What? What did you say, Mary? What did Ian? you call me? Oh, oh Ian, wait a minute. Stop it. All right, you're lovely, you're beautiful, you're sexy and handsome, all right? So okay. shut up. Okay. You promise never to borrow my underwear again? <laughs> promise yes! never to borrow? Yes! yes. Ah. You're a pig, Ian. This is very good, Mary. We should visit your parents more often. Yeah. Oh. Ah. <laughs> Mary? Oh. Can I sleep in your bed? Uh. No! Parties, parties, parties. Hmm. <laughs> what's the matter with you? You know perfectly well what's the matter with me. No, what's wrong? Don't touch me! Why not? Why not? You just happen to have humiliated me in front of everybody. What are you talking about? What did I do? You know exactly what you did. I did nothing. Ha, 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 ha. What are you talking about? Oh, you just spent half an hour touching up some strange woman at a party. She fell in the pool and I pulled her out. <laughs> you are just pathetic. What are you talking about? Oh, a young, attractive girl just happens to fall in the pool and you're over her like a rash. You're just pathetic. I... <sighs> she fell into the pool. She couldn't swim. What did you expect me to do? Well, you could have let someone else save her. There was no one else around. Yeah, just because you managed to get her on your own so there wouldn't be anybody else around in the first place. I was walking past, she was there, she'd had a bit too much to drink, she fell into the pool, I got in and got her out. Yes, and had a good look at her while you were doing it. Oh, that is not fair. It is not my fault that certain fabrics go transparent when they're wet. <laughs> your eyes bugged out. My eyes do not bug out. Mary, I'm not so desperate that I have to ogle half-drowned women. Ian, why do you have to pretend you were obviously attracted to her in the first place, which is why you were watching her when she fell in? I, I only noticed her because a splash drenched me. <laughs> there is absolutely nothing erotic about that situation at all. You were kissing her! I was giving her mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation. <laughs> and loving it. Oh, Mary Ann, there is nothing sexy about kissing a, a cold, wet, unconscious woman. It's just like being married. <laughs> Pete! Oh, well, give me some credit. Come on. How about a bit of credit for, for, for bravery or something? I mean, I risked my life getting her out of there. You risk 
risking life? Yes. It was the shallow end. Not in the pool. I risked my life with you killing me afterwards. Well, just keep your hands off other women in future. OK, look, next time I see a girl drowning, before I save her, I will check and make sure she's not good-looking. <laughs> Ian, she wasn't even that good-looking. She was fairly average. A fairly average bottle blonde. She wasn't a bottle blonde. She was a natural blonde. <laughs> Damn, and I was going so well. I hate this. I hate this. This is the worst idea anyone ever had. And it'll do us good to get some fresh air. If I want fresh air, Marianne, I can open the window. I don't have to drive out 100 miles into the country and slog across a muddy field and try and pitch a tent on the piece of rockiest ground this side of Beirut. Where are the matches? In that bag. I just... Oh, Marianne, look. They're all wet. They're useless. Sorry, Ian. I had a jar of pickled onions in there and the lid must have come off. Oh, fantastic. Now we're going to freeze to death. Sorry. And stop complaining. Other couples have fun when they go camping. But can you explain to me in what sense this could be fun? How could it be? Am I missing something or what? It's good to get back to nature. Why would you want to get back to nature? We've spent the last 5,000 years trying to get away from nature. Millions of people have died. Scientists have died for their beliefs, trying to create new technology. We've had revolutions and inquisitions and battles of independence. People have undergone torture just so we don't have to live in tents. We've finally got the technology to put people on the moon. And what do we want to do? Go and sleep on the ground again. And it'll make you appreciate how good it is at home. I know how good it is at home. I can picture it vividly. I can see a bed and a warm shower and a book I can read. Instead, I'm sleeping on the ground in the middle of rocks with, with wet clothes and there's nothing to eat but, a, but one can of baked beans. Well, sort of. What do you mean, sort of? I forgot to bring the can opener. Fantastic, and I'm starving. I've got some Tic Tacs. Tic Tacs? Marianne, what kind of person comes camping with a can of baked beans, some pickled onion and some Tic Tacs? I thought you were packing the food. I thought it was packed. What's in that bag? Well, my toner, my moisturiser, my cleanser. I can't stand it. I can't stand it, Marianne. This is the last time we ever do this. Why can't we go to a motel? Ian, stop complaining. Look, I found it's a very nice dry location, didn't I? I dry, dry, dry. Can you imagine how hard this thing is? How did you... How did you find this spot? What's it meant to be? There's something over here that just feels like a, a, a oh, trunk of a tree. I can't sleep. I can't go to sleep because the whole thing digs into me when I try to roll over. What digs in? This root or whatever it is. Well, chop it off. Did we bring anything to cut yes, with? in there. Oh, wow. Relic of your Boy Scout days now. All right. Ow! <laughs> what was that? Clank. Clank, Marianne. Marianne, when you put the ground sheet down, was there anything under it? Some bits of wood, uh, some metal stuff. <laughs> Marianne, get out of the tent. Get out of the tent, Marianne. Why? Just get out of the tent. Why? Get out of the tent. 